Hey everyone, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, where we had left off last, I wanted to start getting into the Blender Compositor, which is where you'll be doing a lot of the neat effects that really add a add another level to your Blender uh, animations and renders. Um, we had been using a kind of brick setup, but I had I had some problems translating those from 2.49 to 2.5 or 2.6 which I think I'm now at so I decided to just throw that out and go back to an old scene I had created to show you guys how to use this compositor um, this is just a castle scene that I created a while ago you can see here we have a, a section of a wall with two guys on it and um, some some black falcons coming in so I thought this would just be a good a good chance to show you guys some neat effects in the compositor. I'm going to do a quick render here and we can see what the scene looks like currently before we go into the compositor. And there we go. Um, as you can see there's a few weird effects left over from uh, from the translation from 2.49 to 2.6 but for the tutorial, I think this will be fine. So let's let's head over to our compositor. I'm just going to change this outliner to the node editor. I don't use it too much. Um, you have to make sure that you're in this panel down here, and you have to make sure that use nodes are selected. I'm also going to select the backdrop. What the backdrop will do is allow us to view our render here, but first we have to add a viewer node by hitting shift A, output viewer. And then what we can do to connect it, we can just hit control shift and then click on here and it will connect automatically. So now we can see what we're doing. Uh, this tutorial, to just start off, I'm going to show you guys how to defocus. So what I kind of want is I want this background to be out of focus and the foreground to be in focus. So let's hit Shift A and we're going to add filter. Oops. Filter, defocus. And we're going to connect the image and the Z value. And then we're going to connect this to the compositor and then hit control shift to add it to our viewer node. Um, so wow now it's now it's defocused but we want to use our Z buffer because what we're doing is we're we our camera is sending is saving data when we render and it's being saved to this Z uh, Z output so if we select that, then we will use the uh, that data. I'm not going to use the preview. You can change this to hexagonal. I'm not sure if that's really the right one, but it works for me. So whatever. And then um, this f stop here is the value of the focus, and 128 is perfect focus. So you can just kind of fool around with it and uh, change it to what. Uh, what you want. So that's our node setup. There's still some settings that we have to do in our 3D settings, though. So let's um, let's get out of the render or the node uh, node window. By the way, to go from to full screen, you can just hit Control down, and it will put something to full screen. Probably should have said that earlier. Okay, let's find our camera, and we can see what we're looking at here. This is our camera, and if you go to the cam, the object data, which is a, just a big camera, um, down here in displays, if you hit limits, it will show you basically the distance that the camera can see. So the camera can see quite far, probably farther than it needs to, but it doesn't matter. And then this little, this little cross, this little crosshair here, um, that is where our focus is being. So. Um, 
you can kind of fool around with that and what I want is I want the foreground in focus and the background out of focus so uh, we have to go to our depth of field and our distance here I'm gonna pull that down I think I might have it animated too let's see do I have that animated nope doesn't look like I have it animated okay um, if you have it animated if you add a, you can go over here and hit I and that will add in a keyframe but then if you change it on another frame okay so what you can do now is you can change it and then since it's animated it's just gonna hop right back to where it was before so uh, make sure you're aware of that when you're doing renderings okay now since we have our camera data set up let's hit F12 again and re-render it to see how it's doing all right the renders done and I don't know if it's noticeable yet the defocus but let's uh, hit escape to get out of the render and we'll go into full screen um, and then we're gonna set our view node to the original renders so this is the original render here now if we hit control shift on the defocus node and you pay attention we should be able to see it defocus a little so it's pretty subtle but it's there and we can kind of make it uh, we can amp the effect up by pulling this down even more and for each scene this will be different but let's just because it's a tutorial let's really, uh, let's really amp it up so you can really tell okay so I set that level to 5 now you can see this is the original frame here this is the original render and then with the defocus node you can really tell the difference um, and I think you can check out the, the original video I did but I think what I had is I had this in in defocus kind of like they're not really seeing them and then this guy knocks this guy and points over here and then this goes into focus so I, I had that all animated and it was, it was just an effect normally you wouldn't have this much defocus but every camera in the real world no camera has perfect vision so when you add a defocus node it really adds a bit of realism to the scene which uh, is definitely a good thing play around with it you guys can just set up some basic scenes and try and try and get the defocus the defocus going alright I hope that was useful in the next tutorial we'll look at adding a bit of color effects to these scenes and doing some other stuff with the nodes so I hope you uh, enjoyed that and keep blending.